Hi everyone. Um, I hope na malinaw yung dating sa inyo ng audio natin. Let me just turn off my monitor. Okay. So, good evening. Um, welcome to our class. Uh, I'm seeing some viewers uh, already joining the stream. Um, this is our first time to have this um, live lesson sa YouTube. And um, I hope that um, it turns out fine kasi this might start something na matatawag natin series na sa ating lesson. So, personally, I would love to have some kind of interaction with you guys, especially since... Um, this is something new to me and it may be something new to you then so right now ang tackle natin na lesson is um concatenation so um a few a few weeks ago i actually asked around kung sino yung mga may suggestion sa mga videos na itatackle natin so this came up uh isa sa mga naging responses is concatenation so um, I chose a simple formula because it may be simple, pero marami kasi siyang uses sa atin. Especially um, when we're handling a lot of data. Um, madali kasi to just do the manual changes and manual app, uh, updates kung konti lang. Pero kung if you're handling siguro maraming students or maraming mga tao dun sa database natin, mas maganda na gagamitan natin siya ng Excel tools. So, Live yung teaching natin, so feel free lang mag-comment lang kayo sa comment section para makita ko yung feedback ninyo and mas maging interactive yung lesson natin. Sige, start na natin yung lesson. Okay? Um, actually, yan. Switch over natin dun sa ating main screen. Okay? Ayan. So, we are actually um, discussing yung, cat, yung concatenation na formula. So, i-discuss ko muna yung parts na screen natin. So, sa screen natin, so, lapit ako ng konti. Yan. Oh, natin ko. Yan. So, sorry kung medyo makat sa background. Hindi pa natin na yung backdrop. Um, ang main na uh, parts ng stream natin would be I'm trying to make it a little bit clearer. So, ex explain ko lang. So, itong side na to would be our Excel. Um, and then, um, e again, nandiyan yung chat box. So, anytime you want to reach out via chat, just use the chat box um, ma para makita natin. And then, sa baba, meron tayong, um, meron tayong formula bar. So, yung formula bar na yan is the same formula na sa taas. Um, nilagay ko lang siya dyan para mas makita siya. Okay? Sige. So, punta muna tayo dun sa concatenation. So, ang concatenation basically, isa lang ang goal niyan. And the goal is to combine text from different cells sa Excel into one cell. So, isa sa mga um, frustration sa mga tao is hindi nila ma-merge yung data. So, for example, example lang, um, teacher ka and you have a class list. So, sa class list natin, yan na ito, um, pwedeng, yan. So, sa class list natin, um, meron tayong first name, meron tayong last name, and then we have the full name and then first, last and first. I just want to walk you through it para makita ninyo yung steps na, or yung pwedeng options natin. So, yung first option natin to use would actually be the concatenate formula. So, the concatenate formula is um, using the word concatenate or concat to com um, combine different cells. So, if I will key in equals concat. So, si Excel mismo, she uh, magsasuggest siya ng function. So, pwedeng concat or concatenate. The thing is, actually, pareho lang din naman yung outcome. Pero, being the person na medyo mas may attention tayo sa detail, buoy na lang natin. Pero you, you can actually have the same results kung concat lang or concatenate. So, then you open parenthesis and then you select yung cell na pinagkocombine mo. So, in this case, first name and then full name. 
So, um, open parenthesis, and then you select kung anong cell yung, yung i-combine. So, Abigail. And then, to, to select the next one, you just key in comma as um, divider, and then you select your next cell. So, Abigail, comma, Michael. Pero may problema yan. So, i-try natin, ha? So, and then, press enter. If you look at it, wala siyang space. Tama ba? So, hindi naman ganyan natin siya spell out. So, one key thing about Excel is Excel has its own syntax or mayroon siya sa real language. So, para malagyan natin na space yung first name and last name, lalagyan natin siya ng pagitan dito. So, yung yung Abigail and then we will key in a space. To key in a space sa text format sa Excel, you will use op open, parent, uh, open quotation and then space bar and then close and then comma. So, now, may tatlong parts na yung kinocombine niya. Yung cell B2, and then the text, which is the space, and then C2. So, if I press enter, yan, lalabas na siya na Abigail space Michael. The thing with concatenation is actually, if you copy this, you, co you copy the formula and you paste it down, maganda na siya kasi mag-automatically mapopopulate niya na yung buong cell. Diba? And you can actually have many parang ways to do that. You can actually click on the cell and then just double click here dun sa corner. So, mag-auto-compute na siya. Something like that. And it can can do it automatically sa maraming maraming rows of data. So, yun yung one thing na maganda sa concatenation. Another thing is actually, you can you can even key in text between or sa before or after. Kasi nga, ang way lang naman is Excel is just combining kung ano yung mga nilagay natin sa pagitan ng mga commas. So, for example, ang format na gusto natin sa form na pinapafill up natin is last name, comma, space, first name. Ang gagawin lang natin is equals, and then click on the last name, comma, then open parenthesis, and instead of space agad, lagyan natin siya ng comma and space, then Close quotation, comma, and then the first name. Pag yan ang ginawa natin, and yan yung nilagay natin ng concatenate or concat, ayan, ganito na lalabas yung data natin. So, Michael, comma, Abigail. So, and that will also work going down sa lahat na lang cells natin. So, i-paste natin siya. Ayan. So, di ba? Mas, mas madali na siya for, for Excel to actually use that data. Ayan. Sug natin ng konti. Nat nawala tayo. Ayan. <laughs> anyway, so yan. So, yan yung the way it works. Ngayon, explain ko lang ng konti. Yung quotations na yun is very important because if we put anything in between quotation marks for Excel, it's telling Excel na text, yung text na between doon should be handled as a text. So, kahit um, ang frequent na mistake kasi is, kunyari, maglalagay tayo ng, hindi natin lalagay ng kama. Kunyari, lalagay natin ng um, kunyari, uh, middle initial niya, alam mo, is letter B. If you key in B here, mag error siya. Ayan, naka-name siya. Bakit? Because Excel has um, a language na yung every column is a letter, every row is a, is a number. So, hindi ka pwede maglagay ng any letter or number dyan na hindi naguguluan si Excel. But, but if you put in parent, um, air quotation, uh, quotation marks dun sa pagitan nun, it will treat the letter B as a text. And if you key and enter, lalabas lang siya dun. So, hindi mag -e error yung Excel natin. So, yun yung importance nung quotation marks kay Excel. Sige. Okay. Ngayon, may isa pa tayong way, actually, hmm. So, ayusin lang natin to. Yeah. So, may isa pang way to combine and uh, another option for concatenate. Kung ayaw natin ispell, o kanyari, minsan off the top of your head, ako minsan nung nag-start pa ako, nakakalimutan ko yung word na concatenate. Kasi hindi naman siya word na laging ginagamit natin araw-araw, di ba? So, i-delete ko lang muna yan. One more option para mas madaling matandaan is the end. So, it's the same, it's actually the same format ng um, same format na output natin is 
concatenate using the ampersand symbol or yung end symbol natin. So, kung babalik tayo dun sa Excel file natin, ayan, ayan. kung babalik tayo, if we instead use the end function instead na, or symbol instead na concatenate, ganun din yung mariresult natin. Ganito naman ang way to use the end symbol. You use equals, and then you click on the cell, and then click, um, itype nyo yung end or yung ampersand symbol, and then click the next cell. So basically, yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, papartan mo lang yung comma ng end sign, and you drop the concat or concatenate word, it will give you the same result. Yan. So, pinagdikit niya na naman yung dalawa. Pero, dahil hindi nga ganyan format, ilalagay ulit natin yung open quotation, space, and then op and close quotation, ibibigay niya ulit yung same na result. Ayan. And I will copy that. Or I'll just double click here. Ayan. And dito naman tayo sa, sa last comma first, same pa rin ang syntax niya. Lagi ko lang equals, and then I click on the last name, I put an end, open, pare, open quotation mark, comma, space, and uh, quotation, end, and then first name. Ayan. So, yan na yung format na gusto natin. And then, you can actually double click here sa corner, spread na siya until the last row, or you can copy and paste it. So, yun yung beauty ng concatenate formula natin. So, hindi mo na siya kailangan ng anything na complex or hindi mo siya kailangan i-type pa ulit. Kasi, open to errors yun kapag isa-isa um, mo pa siyang in-encode, di ba? Kung gusto mo siya gawin na format nung sa susunod natin. So, yun yung importante sa concatenation. And, um, just remember, you just have to remember to use the, the quotation marks kapag may ilalagay kang text in between or before. Example lang, sample lang lang natin. Um, kunyari, ilalagay ko naman dito is, kunyari, may section sila. So, lahat sila ang section nila is, ano ba, a section ko ng high school, Fleming. Tapos, gusto ko may dash. Tapos, bago yung pangalan nila. If I keep him in here na quotation, Fleming, dash, space, quotation, and I key in enter, ayan. So, lalabas na agad yung section, and then yung name nila. So, yun yung maganda sa concatenation. Ayan. <laughs> so, I hope you guys learned something new. So, this is a very short lesson kasi again, I really want to try it out. And it looks like it's, it looks like it's working better now. Um, uh, switch over ko muna kayo dun sa next view. And I'll give you a few minutes to interact muna tayo lahat before I close the lesson. So, Ayan. Ayan. So, balik na tayo dito sa, 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 na, sa view na to. So, guys, um, I would like to... Ay, thank you, Coach Laika, sa pag-support. Uh, kay Koki, hello. Um, you guys are online. If you have any questions, i-suggest nyo lang dito. Um, I will re-upload yung mismong um, lesson natin sa Facebook for everyone to have a, um, an easier way to access the lesson. But if you do have um, questions, you can reach out sa chat box natin. And you can send me, um, actually, you can send a message sa Coach Shelby Facebook page natin kasi mas madali to interact with you guys there. So, hi Ate Norsi! Wel uh, welcome po! Uh, hi Rosalea Sabahan! So, um, I'm really glad na medyo mas smoother yung stream natin ngayon and um, it's all because um, meron na tayo nakuwang um, software na mas better use. Sorry kung hindi nagpa-pop up yung chat box natin. So, I really have to fix this one. Mukhang, mukhang nagkaroon ng konting problem. Wait lang. Ayan, may problem lang yung chat box, hindi siya nagre-refresh. Pero, guys, I'm really seeing you, yung ano, makikita ko naman yung, yung slide natin. So, anyway, hindi ko na, hindi ko na masyadong isi-stretch yung time natin together. Thank you for 
for joining me and I'm really glad na mas smoother yung stream natin and maybe this is something na gagawin pa natin later on. Um, I will be streaming another lesson tomorrow and that would be the text modifiers, yung left, mid, and um, right. Yun yung way na kunin natin yung parts ng isang cell and to modify and combine it. So, I I will talk about that tomorrow. So, um, hold on lang kayo and it will be probably the same time as tonight. And I'm thinking na gagawin natin tong uh, weekly weekend habit natin to learn together. So, thank you for joining me sa stream. Um, it's a short one, pero I really feel glad <laughs> na medyo mas smoother na yung stream natin, hindi katulad before. So, thank you for joining and um, have a great evening. Stay safe. God bless um, and be a better person today than you were yesterday. And see you sa next stream natin. God bless.